Hi, I'm Allie with Infragistics. Today we'll be working with the basic interactions of WPF test automation with HP Unified Functional Testing, or UFT for short. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to record, add simple verification points, replay, and verify results. Before we begin, make sure that you have the .NET add-in, WPF add-in, as well as the proper Infragistics test automation add-in that corresponds to the application that you're against. As far as the web add-in, it's not required unless you're incorporating a web browser. So for this example, we'll deselect it and say yes to this warning. Now let's create our first script. We'll start off by clicking new. It'll be a GUI or graphic user interface application and we'll give it a name. Let's call it our first WPF test and click create. Next, we'll click on the record button. UFT will ask us to tell it what application to record against. This will be a Windows application. We'll click the add application and select the XAM data grid sample that's installed with the Infragistics WPF's test automation. Click open and okay through the rest. UFT will automatically open the application for us and we can start recording against it. First, we'll enable sorting for this example so that we can test a few different interaction types, as well as filtering. Next, we're going to change an author. Let's change it to Dragon. Then we're going to sort on that column, as well as filter it down to include the new value that we changed. Now let's add a verification point on the grid. It should be noted that since this sample application contains a hierarchical grid, it only lists three rows, representing the data island that the active cell is on. We'll click OK. We'll now stop recording and then close the application to reset the state back to where we were when we started. Now let's click Run to see how it plays through. You'll see that it replays each step as you recorded it, enabling sorting, changing a name, and filtering. At the completion of script, the Run Results viewer will automatically open, and this way we can see that the script played out correctly and the checkpoint passed. It'll list each of these steps that we replayed, as well as the check mark saying that the checkpoint was correct. Now let's close the Run Results viewer and make a change to the data we altered to simulate a change in the application. Let's say Drapes. We'll close the application and reset the state again and then click Run. Again, it'll replay the steps, same as we did before. Setting Sorting, Setting Filtering, now changing the name to Drapes, Filtering, And then when the script is complete, it will open the Run Results viewer. Now we see that it's failed. To investigate why, we can expand out. And it shows all the steps passed, but the checkpoint failed. As we expand the checkpoint further, we'll see via the details how the data failed. In this case, it was expecting Dragon and didn't find it. And there you have it. In a few minutes, you were able to record, add simple verification points, replay, and verify results. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more easy-to-use videos, and we'll see you next time.